all right now let's see how we can add css framework and library to our angular cli project so i will be using bootstrap in this case so we will go to our terminal here in the visual studio code and then here i can type npm install then dash dash save now it will install our dependencies in the package.json file and after that we can type bootstrap but bootstrap requires some other dependencies like jquery and popper.js but we won't get into that we will just use this standard bootstrap here so when it finishes downloading then we can go to our node modules folder and there we can see uh, bootstrap here and we require to use dist css and then we will use this bootstrap.main.css or we can use bootstrap.css so let's see how we can do that so i will close my terminal here now i will go to my angular.cli.json that will be in the root directory of your project and here under the styles array or styles property you can add your bootstrap css or any css like maybe you use foundation or materialize css like any css framework so we can write dot dot slash node modules node modules then slash bootstrap then the folder is dist i think then css then bootstrap dot css you can confirm the path by going to the node modules folder now if i save it and then i can run the project like ng serve then dash dash open now it will build and open the project in our browser and here you can immediately see the changes uh, we are getting after we loaded the bootstrap so you can see the, our header and these paragraphs and these list items are like changed with the bootstrap styling all right uh, we can further confirm it by if we go to our app.component.html uh, we can remove all this boilerplate here and instead here we can write dev with the class of container and then we can pass maybe row here and then we need call maybe md4 then we will use three columns here and then here i will pass one second lorem text here and similarly we can do it here and same here and now if i save it and go back to the browser you can see the text here which is using the bootstrap grid layout so we have three columns here and similarly you can use other bootstrap classes so I won't get into that, you can play with it.